let's say that one millimeter represents one year backwards in time. Here we are in the present. This is me in the 21st century. Now, if I go back 5.8 centimeters, then we reach 1947. That's the year I was born. Now, let's talk about the Roman conquest of England. That took place in the year 43 AD. For that, we had to go back about 195 centimeters to about here. Even the length of my table represents 2,000 years. But I want to measure out the whole of Earth time. And 4.6 billion years is going to take me a whole lot further. On this scale, every mile is an epoch of nearly 2 million years. As the sheer depths of Earth time roll on, a human lifespan seems so insignificant. traveled two and a half thousand miles, 4.6 billion years of time, the entire age of the Earth. It's taken me across the whole of America, and it's made me feel, by comparison, very, very small indeed. billion years of Earth time are lifeless. But then, no one knows exactly how, the first signs of life appear three and a half billion years ago. These are our very first ancestors. Now, for the next two and a half billion years, not much really happens. The Earth is dominated by single-celled organisms, or bacteria, all they do is they live, they divide, and they die over and over and over again. As time passes, it's incredible just how long it takes before life shows any sign of change at all. It's not until 570 million years ago that something amazing happens. There's an explosion of new life forms in the world's oceans. These are the ancestors of all living animals, fish, birds, even us. It isn't long before animals are everywhere on the planet. But it's not until around five million years ago that something remarkable happens in our journey. The first ape men appear. This is about when our ancestors first left the jungles and forests of Africa to live in the grasslands and savannas. That's when our ancestors began to walk upright, which freed up the hand. The thumb, which was once used to swing in trees, can now be used to make tools and to grab things. That's when we begin to separate from the apes and begin our long journey to become modern humans. For us, it still seems a long, long journey from ape men to modern humans. But in the time span of life on Earth, it's a mere stroll in the park. Civilizations get going only a few thousand years ago. We're just one tiny part of life's three and a half billion year journey through time. 